Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're going to talk about Bitcoin, and we're going to put back on our on-chain analysis hat, and we're going to look at transaction fees. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com. We're going to keep this one short and sweet. I think some people like the shorter videos, so we are going to make some shorter videos just to get the point across very quickly. One of the things that we've talked about are these on-chain statistics. And one thing that I think is probably doesn't get enough attention is just looking at the transaction fees and seeing a fairly clear signal that it gives whenever Bitcoin is sort of at the peak of a mania phase. You saw it in 2017, and you also saw it in early 2021. Now, like a lot of indicators, it did not flash in November. Um... But that's just the way it goes. I mean, you know, I, I, I do think by a lot of metrics that the, the, the top is actually better thought of in early 2021 rather than late 2021. This is when a lot of the metrics were actually flashing sell signals um, or a lot more of them anyways. But you can see that, you know, if you zoom in to say each of these bull markets, what you'll see in transaction fees is you'll see like um, higher lows throughout it. And then it goes into like a parabolic mania phase. And then it comes all the way back down into the bear market. So this is, you know, in, in 2018, this is very bear. This is very, very much bear market activity for transaction fees. And then you go to today, or at least this last bull market, you can see something similar, right? Higher lows in transaction fees, and then ultimately going back down into bear market activity. So arguably, um, from like a transaction fee point of view. As we've mentioned before, you know, you could argue that Bitcoin has been in a bear market really since May of 2021 and that ever since then, it's just been a series of, of relatively lackluster bounces that haven't. I mean, one of them took us to a new all time high, but it certainly wasn't that um, uh, significant. So like 2018, this looks like bear market activity. And you can see that it's been going on essentially since the summer of 2021. You can also apply moving averages to this as well. Uh, perhaps maybe applying a EMA moving average is a little bit better, like the 30-day EMA of, of the transaction fees. And you can see that bear market activity in 2018 was lower than, say, the base bear market activity in 2022. Shows generally a growing network. The network effect is strong, of course, uh, but that we are not anywhere close to one of these mania phases, which is somewhat characterized by higher lows into a blow-off top like in 2017, and then also like in early 2021. So perhaps this will be just yet another metric that we can look look at whenever Bitcoin does go back into another mania phase, and we'll want to watch the transaction fees relatively closely. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. Also, remember we have the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.